Welcome to another episode of AWS Quick Start series on using Amazon Workmail for everyday communications. My name is Aarti and I'm a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services. Today, I'll be walking you through the steps needed to configure and get Amazon Workmail up and running. So if you think about email, it has evolved into something more than just a tool for communications. You use email today as an enabler for many of your business processes. For example, you can use it to keep track of various projects by sharing updates on projects, for example. However, running corporate-grade email infrastructure is not only time-consuming and hard to do, but it's also very expensive. Amazon Workmail offers you a fully managed email and calendaring solution. Let's look at what some of the key benefits of Amazon Workmail are. The first, it's a completely managed service. What that means is you don't have to worry about provisioning the infrastructure, patching the underlying operating system, or you also don't have to worry about upfront licensing costs. Second, it integrates very nicely with the other security services on AWS. So we notice that customers store many a times highly confidential data in your emails, and it's important to make sure that these are encrypted when stored in the mailbox. Amazon Workmail integrates with Key Management Service, or KMS, to encrypt your mailbox. For those of you who are familiar with Outlook, you can use the Outlook client to access Amazon Workmail without having to configure any additional tools. Desktop is not the only way to access your email client. Workmail is also accessible over a browser on mobile devices. Next, Workmail has a very low pay-as-you-go pricing model. It starts with about four US dollars per user every month, and you can scale this up to add additional users as your business grows. And lastly, it provides you integration with Active Directory. Any users you set up on Amazon Workmail are managed using a directory service. You have two, two options here. One, you can have Amazon Workmail manage the directory service for you, or for those of you who have existing directory services, you can integrate Workmail with it. Now with that, let's look at a demo of how exactly you can get Amazon Workmail set up. There are three key steps here. We will be using the Amazon Workmail wizard and follow the quick setup. And as part of the quick setup, we will be doing three things. Creating a new directory service to hold the users of your Workmail application. Set up a free domain for your Workmail account. And finally, you will use the default encryption key to protect your Workmail. What you see here is your Amazon Workmail console. Let's click on Get start Started to set up Workmail. You see two options here. One is the Quick Setup, and the second is the Standard Setup. The Standard Setup allows you more, act, more ways to customize your environment. For example, you can specify your own directory services and so on. For this demo, we will choose the Quick Setup. What we will do next is specify a domain name using which we can access our Workmail account. Let's name this Quick Start hyphen demo. Let's click on Create Next. So you will see here that the status of your Workmail is set to creating. After a few minutes, your Workmail account will be up and running. So you can see here now that the status has changed to active. Let's look at the details of our Workmail account. At the very top left, you see a Users tab, which will show you all your existing Workmail users. Let's go ahead and create our first user here. Let's name this user as Test User. In this case, the display name would also be the same. Let's click on Next Step. We need to configure a password for our user, so let's go ahead and do that. You need to repeat the password you specified there and click on Add User. Once this is done, you will see your user show up here in the Users tab at, as with the status as enabled. You also have the option to group multiple users together. For example, if you have a help desk in your organization, you can add multiple people to the help desk group. Next, you can also configure resources such as meeting rooms here and allow people the ability to book these using the Workmail client. If you have your own domain, you can add your own custom domain here. In this case, we have choose, chosen Quick Start Dash Demo. 
Next, you can configure policies to access your work mail. For example, you can specify the strength of your password here. The last tab, organization settings. You can see here the URL to our web application. So let's go ahead and click that. And this should launch our WorkMail client in the browser. You should see a login prompt here. Go ahead and specify the user and the password you set up earlier. Once you sign in here, you will be able to see the web client interface. You can choose to receive notifications in browser. And you can see on the left here, you see the standard folders you get with any email client. So on the top right here, you have the options to create an email. You also have a link to the address book. At this point, we only have one user in our work mail, which is what you see here. So let's go ahead and create an email here. We will click on new item and click on new email. In this case, let's send the email to ourselves, which is test user here. Let's give it a nice subject, uh, say my first email using workmail. And let's fill in the body and say maybe I love workmail. Um, go ahead and click on send. And you will see that this email that shows up under drafts now will move to your outbox next. While we wait for the email, let's take a quick look at the calendaring functionality. So if you go to a calendar, here. This should look familiar as any other Outlook calendar, for example. You can go ahead and set up meetings by simply double-clicking. It should open up a pop-up here where you can specify meeting timings. And if you had defined any room resources when you configure, you can also choose those from here. So let's go back and we should see that the first test email we sent has been delivered to our inbox. You can see here, you'll see here the options to reply, reply all or forward emails just as you would with any email client. You can see the sign out option at the very top right. Let's go ahead and click that to log out of your WorkMail account. And that concludes our demo. As a next step, I would encourage you to visit our console at aws.amazon.com slash WorkMail and explore the service. Please note that you can sign up for a 30-day free trial, which covers up to 25 users for you. Also note that AWS itself offers a free trial for the first 12-month period, where you can explore many other different AWS services. You can find out more about this by visiting aws.amazon.com free. For those of you in the audience who aspire to build your own startups, you can leverage on the AWS Builders Package which gives you access to free credits and other training resources. You can find out more about this program by visiting aws.amazon.com slash activate. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching.